closed pyometra in a Syrian hamster, a rare surgical condition. Singapore is a city-state with around 6 million residents. Around 80% of the population live in high-rise apartments. Many prefer to keep hamsters as pets. Dwarf and Syrian hamsters are most popular. As the hamster ages, tumors are the number one most common medical condition seen at Topaya Vets over the past 10 years. This video documents a rare case of close pyometra in a Syrian hamster seen at Topaya Vets. Hi, hi Dr. Sin. Are you in today? My female Syrian hamster has now been pooping and eating well for the past week and yesterday. I felt her tummy was quite swollen. Can I bring her in around 11.30 a.m.? 11.30 a.m.? Okay. Okay, I bring her over. Thanks. My Syrian hamster tummy is getting larger and larger. Is she constipated? There is a bad news. I felt a large sausage-like mass as big as the last finger of an adult lady. Your hamster is likely to be suffering from close pyometra. What? Uh, what is close pyometra? Pyometra is a bacterial infection of the uterus. Past is formed. The pus usually passes out and you can see a yellowish vaginal discharge. Did you see any? No, I didn't see any ditches in her private butts. In your Syrian hamster, the pus builds up daily but cannot pass out as the cervix has closed. I need to get her abdomen x-ray to confirm the close pyometra. Is it okay with you? Hmm, okay. X-ray showed a severely distended uterus inside the abdomen. The left uterine horn is over distended with pus. This X-ray shows incorrectly that the left and right uterine horns are filled with pus. But during surgery, the right uterine horn is normal, about 4 mm in diameter while the left horn is 1.5 cm in diameter and around 8 cm long. Hi Dr. Singh, my hamster Elsa doesn't seem to get better. Can she come on Friday to take more medicines or its surgery is better? There is only one treatment for close pyometra in hamsters or dog. Surgery to remove the distended and infected uterus as drug will not work to expel the pus. The other vet said that all hamsters will die when they undergo surgery. I do not want surgery. Your hamster has been lethargic and not eating for at least one week. In this case, she is unfit to undergo anesthesia as the risk of dying on the operating table will be very high. My hamster tummy is getting bigger and she is heavier. This is surprising. At home, she sleeps all the time, but at the clinic now, she is active. You have two options, surgery to remove the swelling uterus which you saw on the x-rays, or you can wait till the uterus over distend till it ruptures or euthanasia her when she is very ill. <sighs> It will be very painful for her if the uterus rupture. You know what? I understand the high risk of anesthesia. I option for the space surgery. Even if the hamster survives the surgery, she may die after surgery as she is in poor health. She is not in good health as she does not eat on her own. Okay, la. I have to take the chance. I will take the surgery. She signed the consent form. The hamster was given 0.01 ml Zolitil 100 IM and put on isoflurane gas anesthesia by mass. The left large uterine horn filled with pus. I took it and its ovary out. The other uterine horn was normal and had no pus. I removed it and its ovary. The left uterine horn is filled with pus and is around 1.5 cm in diameter and 8 cm long while the right horn is normal at 4 mm in diameter. This is the photo just after spay. The Syrian hamster was active post spay and went home with 
instruction to keep her warm using a plastic bag with warm water to place near her body. If she could survive the next two days, she should leave. Unfortunately, she passed away the next day. Tips and advices. In close pyometria, especially in dogs, the earlier the surgery to remove the toxic uterus, the better the chances of survival. The dog has better chances if she is eating some food and is not vomiting. In this rare case of close pyometra in the Syrian hamster, the hamster survived the anesthesia and surgery, which was a very difficult decision for the owner to make. I hope you learned something on this video. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit to or call to our clinic number 6254-3326.